How's it going guys? Uh, welcome back to Lead Tech Media Alternative. Um, so the news, um, Intel Broadwell E lineup rumored to feature Monster Tenko CPU. I don't know who needs Tenko CPU, but as you can see here, look at the size of this compared to, I, think, I believe this is 50, uh, 5960X. Okay, let's read through this article. Um, the successor of Intel high-end has all uh, e CPU will feature up to 10 cores running um, um, 20 threads according to leaked set of applications while the specs remain unverified by Intel and firmly in the rumor camp for now it's true the company will release the four different Broadwell, Broadwell uh, um, SQUs I don't know what they, what they mean one uh one more than Haswell E starting with six core i7 60 um is 6800k and e ending with 10 core 6950x the 50 uh, fi uh, 50 uh, 69 uh, sorry the 6950x is the most interesting cpu of of a lot um thanks to its featuring two extra cpu cores over the Haswell E like 5960x it replaces users um Users will have to sacrifice clock speed to advantage of all those threads with CPU running at restrained 3 GHz base clock and a more, a more likely 3.5 GHz turbo clock. <coughs> that makes it less than uh, less than ideal choice for gamers, even with overclocking. Thanks thanks to games largely fa uh, favoring single single thread performance, the far cheaper 4790K with 4.4 GHz boost clock often outperforms the 1560x in games benchmarks uh, end of the day they're not designed for games anyway like they're designed for editing and rendering and workstation computers not not for gaming you only want to buy that if you want to drag on that you have the highest end intel appears to be making its latest high-end cpu more appealing to gamers though thanks to the inclusion of six core chip running at 3.6 gigahertz base clock the higher base clock should result in a boost above 4 gigahertz and that that's without overclocking um ours uk pu pumped uh pumped up its six core has well e chip to 4.5 gigahertz um with little effort uh, ju um, the ju uh, jury is still out on wh whatever whenever those uh, extra cores will eventually be worth it though even though the rex 12 is coming down the pike um, in our early direct stuff testing, we found that there was no difference in performance between four-core CPU and six-core CPU, with or without hyper-threading. For the for the moment, at least, Intel is sticking with four-core, four to eight, four-core eight-thread CPU for mainstream desktop processors, like uh, later uh, 6700K. Meaning, the developers are more likely to target users with more cores anytime soon. Still, for those high-end workstation applications or simply just bragging rights, and you want to take advantage of overclocking, which isn't supported by Intel Z Online, Broadwell E looks like a worthy successor of Haswell E. It's also expected to be comp comparable with the uh, same X79, X99 chipset and LJ11-3 socket of Haswell E, which helps make the ex expected um, $1,000 price of the top-end chip that little more bearable um which is kind of good like there is still no there's no word of release but like they said here that if you want to if you're only using it for workstation or just with bragging rights then get it but either way like <coughs> i have um i'm still i'm still on the x79 platform rampage for extreme 3820 uh, intel um 3820 not even overclocked uh, not even um k version unlocked one and i i'm i can overclock it to 4.3 on a h100i cooler but i can uh, at the moment it's overclocked to 4.1 you know what i mean like and it still smashes games smashes games you know and it's even when i, when I play games like Intro Auto 5 or skyrim for example um it's not even going all the way up to full load you know what I mean? So these these CPUs are really future proof, and whoever buys this for gaming is really dumb. I would rather have um, less cores, better overclock overclockable CPU than you know more cores, but not so good overclockable. Like you know, 3.5 gigahertz 
you know, like uh, at the boost clock, you know, come on. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and um, please like, subscribe, share uh, for more. Thank you.